welcome to Motorcycle Den. And today we are talking accessories. What is your best accessory or accessories? What are the best accessories you've installed on your Harley touring bike? Or any motorcycle for that matter. It don't have to be just Harley, but that's what we are riding, so that's what we will discuss. We definitely want to hear from you. What what do you like or want to get or have been researching or have had and didn't like? We are going to be doing some videos this year showing you what accessories we have installed on this, what accessories we're thinking about getting. One thing I want to mention which you can't see, but I have a rider's backrest. We had it on our Ultra Limited 2018 and we switched it over to our 2020 Road Glide Limited. Now, I, this is the only driver's rider's backrest that I've ever had, but this is Harley brand and it wasn't cheap. It was like 300 and something dollars. Harley don't just sell you the backrest as one whole kit. You got to buy the mount and then you got to buy the backrest. We got the one that is completely adjustable. It has a pneumatic cylinder. Uh, it can, you can just take the backrest and push it forward and it'll lay down almost flat and to the rider's seat. It's adjustable up and down. I'll show you all that stuff in another video, but we'll go over it. And uh, but I, I want to mention I, I love this backrest. I love having it, and the reason why I was getting into how it's adjustable because I think that that is probably key to really liking the backrest because I can put this pretty much anywhere I want. Next up. We have these highway pegs from Sierra 3D, and I am going to do a video on them. I really like the highway pegs. That's all I'm going to say for now. You guys keep it, just keep a watch out for the video that we're going to put out. Um, but I will mention they are pricey. We have Sierra 3D filler lights. I love the looks of them. Again, they were a little expensive. They're not they as look good. They do look good. I, I like the design of them. Uh, they cover a little more than the Custom Dynamics, but they are not as bright as Custom Dynamics. So if brightness is the only concern, then you're probably not going to want to get these. But I will say they have an amber uh, like beam. It's a vertical that when your turn signals come on. And the reason why I mention it is you're thinking, well, Amber, well, it is different. When you have six yeah. lights in the back and they're all red, just because it's bright, that doesn't mean that it's gonna get somebody's attention. And I'm not saying the Amber will either, but sometimes something different is what catches people's eye. We added the siren that Harley makes yeah, I know. Everybody wants to say, well, they should give it to you. Well, they probably should, but they don't. But I like having it. Uh, I would like to get a phone holder. And I, we had Harleys on our 2018, and it worked. But it was a pain to adjust. And it just did not hold the phone securely unless you really cranked down on it. It was so much so that it looked like it was pushing in on the side of the phone a little bit. Something else that I've thought about getting is different grips. But my concern is I like the Kahunas I think is how you pronounce it Harley has. Uh, they make those in heated grips. But I don't want to lose the heat sensation. I mean, these put out nice, even heat everywhere across the grip, and they get really hot, which I have, which I want. I mean, my hands get cold easy. So if the kahunas are only putting out heat in a few, few areas, I don't know if it's just where the rubber is, 
because I know they have metal in places. Uh, if anybody has kahunas and have done that, uh, let me know. What do you? What's your thoughts on it? If they're the heated grips, and were they easy to install? Did you do it yourself, or did you have a dealer do it? Uh, let us know down below, guys. We'd love to hear about that. One video that we did do, but lost some audio, and I don't even know if I kept it. I hope I didn't delete the whole thing, because I might do a delete, a uh, delete, a voiceover. But we did have a windshield comparison, and uh, we didn't. We wound up going with the stock windshield because we liked it better, but. Something else that I possibly am considering down the road is different headlights. I just don't think they're bright enough. Maybe it's because I'm getting older. I don't know. I talked to Mrs. Den about getting her some highway pegs, but she is adamant that she does not need them. And I mentioned to her about armrests. She says she don't need it either. So, so as far as the passenger goes, I mean... Have you guys installed anything for your passengers? Uh, what about the police and Oh yeah, um, Mrs. Den had bought me the magic strobes, but it doesn't work with the incandescent taillight, which I would like to switch out to a LED taillight at some point. Harley has came out, and I think they call it Keystone, but it's not the older style Keystone. They did come out with uh, new lights with turn signals that go across the trunk. They're a lot brighter than the factory lights and uh, the stock lights, should I say. So we ordered those. Well, we bought them, but they're on back order. Apparently, are out of stock. So I don't. Hopefully, they come in before too long. I'd love to get them on early this year, but but we seen them in the dealership, and uh, he had a smoke lens. I, they, they they look good. Brake they're light. bright, um, and they're uh, sequential uh, turn, turn signals. signals. They really look neat. They're a little they're big, actually a little wider, which I don't Left know if I'm a signal. fan of, but. I guess to get all the lighting in. I think they did really did a good job. They have the whole, they have the uh, filler lights and the back blades, and, which honestly, I'm, I really didn't care for the back blades. It's just too big and bulky. For the back blades, I mean, I would like to get some at some point, but I, I want some that are uh, narrow. Have you guys upgraded your audio? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. Mr. Den, I forgot all about that. Yeah, we did hear Harley teamed up with, what do you say, Harden? Maybe? I forget who he said. Um, maybe it was Harden. I forget who he said. But, they, I mean, granted, we were inside. But, man, it sounded really good. That brings me up to something else. This is a cheap thing. And our Ultra Limited had one, too. That thing for your, uh, like, your out, little outlet there. Power outlet. That thing, it's not as bad. The one Ultra Limited always came out. It fell out, but it's cheap plastic. I mean, goodness, man. It could have done something, you know, a little, something that was rubber. Maybe there's a reason for that. I don't know. Maybe rubber would hold in moisture. Or, I, I don't know. But if you guys change that out, let me know. We, I want to get new turn signals, uh, LED turn signals. Now, let me let me ask. Everybody talks about getting LED turn signals. In. I've seen some that if you were looking from the side a little bit, not directly from the side, but like 45 degree angle, has anyone noticed? Is it harder to see LEDs from like an angle like that? I mean, when the guy was come we were on a turn street like that and he was coming down this way and we could hardly see his turn signal like at an angle but I don't know they might have been they were LEDs but they might have been a cheap brand I don't know so anyways guys uh, that's all we have 
uh, let us let us know what you've done, what you're thinking of doing, or something that you've done and didn't like, or, or just absolutely love. Hit us up in the comments below. Until later, guys. See ya.